Welcome to the final part of our MOOC. If you have watched the previous parts, you are by now becoming quite the expert on ethical theories and perspectives. This means it is time to put our knowledge on ethical decision making to work and see what it can mean in practice. In the following clips, we will be discussing several common ethical dilemmas or decisions that communication professionals of different fields may face. We will first discuss ethical issues within the field of entertainment communication, political communication, corporate communication, and persuasive communication. Looking at ethical issues from the three main ethical theories, consequentialism, virtue ethics, and deontology. In the remaining clips, we delve further into several overarching topics, such as ethics when conducting scientific research, and big data and privacy. To get you started in thinking about ethical issues from a more practical perspective, I would like to draw your attention to the MERITS model. MERITS stands for the Multidimensional Ethical Reasoning and Inquire Task Sheet, and it was put forward by Patrick Lee Pleasance as a starting tool for making ethical decisions. The model helps you to focus on the values that are at stake in a given ethical dilemma, the ethical principles that can guide your decision making, and the different stakeholders and moral considerations that need to be taken into account. More specifically, the model states that we should first identify the main values that are in conflict in a dilemma, the importance of each of these values, and how they are in conflict exactly. Something can be considered a value when we believe, and I quote, that a particular mode of conduct or that a particular end state of existence is personally and socially preferable to alternative modes of conduct or end states of existence. Think, for instance, about values such as promoting credibility, honesty, transparency, autonomy or privacy. When identifying the main values that are in conflict, explain what would happen when each value would be given priority. Then think about which value you prioritize and why and also consider any overriding interests, such as an economic interest, for example. Then consider how each of the ethical perspectives, consequentialism, virtue ethics, or deontology, would guide your ethical decision-making. For instance, you need to identify all potential stakeholders and think about how they would be affected by your decision. Will you cause any harm? And how can you minimize such harm? Who gains the most from your decision and who loses? This means applying a consequentialist perspective to your choice. From a more deontological perspective, you need to think about your moral obligations and duties. What responsibilities do you have and to whom are you accountable? Do you have any duties as a communication professional that may override any personal values you may have? And one very interesting question to ask yourself is, how would you feel if your decision were to be made widely public? Would you feel like a moral and virtuous person? Of course, how one prioritizes certain values differs per person and per profession. For instance, key values in journalism are the minimization of harm, seeking and reporting the truth, acting independently and being accountable, whereas some of these values may be less important in marketing or advertising. But one value that seems to be prioritized in almost any communication profession is the value of credibility. Whichever value you prioritize, you need to be aware that there is no right or wrong way to prioritize your values. The most important thing is that you are able to argue why you prioritize one value over the other. With that in mind, let's now take a look at some examples of ethical issues in practice in the next videos, starting with ethical issues in entertainment communication.